All right, what's going on guys? So I wanted to make this video today because I found something a little interesting at the store where I usually buy these three pack booster blisters um, or whatever they're called if they have a different name. Someone let me know because uh, I don't know what to call them. They're basically usually just three booster packs that come with this crappy promo card worth almost nothing. Uh, and they're usually all standard packs. So they, they're the lowest value stand, um, booster packs you can, you can find essentially. And it retails, the, the whole package retails for about, I've seen them for 12 to $13 usually. I think $12.99 is what my store sells it for. Or, or $11.99, sorry. And so I have a 20% discount with my employee discount, um, so I get them for about $10, and I don't look at it as a serious uh, investment or good deal or anything like that. It's really just to have fun if I if I get off a long shift, and I'm just, <laughs> I just feel like opening booster packs. Uh, 10 bucks for three three packs, you know. It's not, it's not terrible if you're looking to spend money on Magic cards, you know, just for fun. So usually I, <laughs> I bought about 10 of these um, total, since I since I uh, found them at the place I work at, and I've gotten it's gotten to the point where I can recognize by the the uh, booster pack color what set it's from, even though you can't actually read anything on the booster packs to tell you what set it is. So I knew that the yellow was Ravnica, one of the Ravnicas from the current block. I knew that this dark one in the middle which is a little darker than the one in the back, which is more blue, is Core Set 2019. And the one in the back is the one that I had no idea what it was, which is weird because I could list off every other standard set's booster pack by how it looks. So I knew that it wasn't a standard set, but I had no idea what set it was going to be. I thought, okay, maybe it's an older set. Uh, not too old, but like a couple of years ago, it's probably not worth anything. Uh, so I made a post on the MTG Finance subreddit, and someone suggested it was Ultimate Masters, and I've never seen an Ultimate Masters booster pack, and that surprised me because I think I looked it up, and Ultimate Masters retails for about, what was it, nineteen ninety nine or something like that, so it doesn't actually make sense for it to be in these things, so I'm guessing they just mistakenly put it in, so as you can see... Uh, it is actually an Ultimate Masters booster pack. Although it, it's kind of freaking me out because it seems like there's a lot of space in there. I'm never, like, you can see I can move the cards back and forth. You can actually see the rippling on the pack. It's very spacious and it's pushed down all the way to the bottom, which I know for a fact is not how booster packs usually come. Uh, they're usually more snug like this. Unless the Ultimate Masters packs are just like that, uh, which is something I, I've, I've never opened one, so I, I wouldn't know that. Um, so, so I'm just going to open it up here. Might as well, since I'm filming. Um, see what we get. I have no idea what's valuable in the pack. Um, so anyway, let's open up these two first. And just see what we get. Probably nothing that great. Because I don't think there's a lot of high value in these sets. But, let's see. Oh, that's actually a good hit, but <clears throat> it's not worth much. Oh, wow, it's a mythic. Divine Visitation. Uh, if one or more of your creature tokens would be created, or one of more creature tokens would be created under your control, that many 4-4 four, four white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance are created instead enchantment. That's actually pretty good. Um, I don't think it's worth anything. But yeah. And we got a Ral Zarek token. So we'll put the lands here. Kind of all over the place. So we'll put the commons there. The uncommons here. And I guess the mythic can go up. Because it's kind of in its own classification. So now we got Corset 2019. And when I buy these things, the reason why I can identify 
what sets are by their um, their packaging at all is because I tried to avoid the standard sets that I know have low EV uh, estimated value um, or ones that are rotating out. So like if if I could find one without an M19 in it, I usually buy that and, and no Dominaria and you know Ixlon because because they're rotating out and really have no cards that I want. Um, but usually you can't avoid getting at least one. Okay, so we get our uncommons. Vivian's Invocation. I'm not going to read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so funny. It's the same as our promo card, but you can tell the difference. <laughs> you can tell the difference because it doesn't have this. The uh, four mana. Uh, four. The five mana um, emblems right there. That's weird. That's so funny. What are the odds of that? Okay, so that's... That'll go up there, I guess. That's so weird. Okay. Uh, stone Quarry and a Thopter Token. Okay, so I guess the only thing that really mattered was the Ultimate bas <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> the Ultimate Bastards 15-card booster pack. See how... Do you see this? Is this normal? I don't know. If someone could tell me in the comments, that'd be great. Okay. Let's see. So I guess they do it a little differently because the tokens in the front. Oh, these cards are so nice. Like, I can feel the difference. So we got a foil blood flow connoisseur. Our rare is a Phyrexian altar. Three mana, sacrifice a creature, add one mana of any color. No idea what this is worth, guys. I'm going to look it up right after the video, but... Um, it's probably not great. Uh, just judging by the effect. Maybe a couple bucks. I don't know. Golgari Charm. Prismatic Lens. Uh, fecundity? Fecundity? I don't know how to pronounce that one. Uh, three mana green. Whenever a creature dies, that creature's controller may draw a card. So those are our uh, cards. Um, not anything great, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, interesting. Probably would have made more. Probably smarter to just sell the pack on eBay if I wanted to make money. But I thought it was pretty interesting. Wanted to open it up myself. So yeah, that's it. Um... Leave a like if you like the video and have a great day.